Mark, quit. <laughs> I don't even know if that's on or not, but this is really weird. Nothing like that. Yeah, nothing like that has ever, ever happened to me before. She has a garage for a I don't know. She's Brad's, Brad's brother's girlfriend. Hello. <laughs> it wasn't pretty. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jim Phillips and welcome to KU Live. Our guest today is Mark Adams, whose film The Honey Thief placed first runner up at the 1987 Kansas Film Festival. Mark, it's glad to have you here. Huh? I'm glad to be here. Uh, why don't you tell us a little about the film? The film is basically a comedy that we filmed in the summer of 87, and it's about the honey. It's a Pablo Picasso painting, which is stolen after a party, and two of us have to get it back before the parents come back at the end of the weekend. And then the entire film are the misadventures of us trying to retrieve the painting. Mm -hmm. When you're taking those important photographs of your family and friends, you don't want to worry about f-stops or apertures or even focusing. All you want is that beautiful picture. That's why Minolta introduces the new M35 camera. It's compact, lightweight, and easy to use. It has a built-in flash, auto-loading, and auto-focusing. So all you do is aim and shoot. The Minolta M35 camera. Beautiful pictures with a touch of a button. <laughs> Good evening, welcome to the Adams Roth Report. I'm Doug Roth and to my left is Mark Adams. 200 people were injured and scores of other were shaken up yesterday in Madrid, Spain. A two-ton Brahma bull loaded with explosives went off in the middle of a bullfight in Madrid's La Concarni Stadium. Bull debris covered a 10 block radius. One spectator commented, my oh my, I couldn't move, I couldn't run everywhere. It was bull, just bull. Officials suspect terrorists perpetrated the act. President Bush today expressed his disappointment with Exxon's handling of the Alaskan oil spill, saying there is no excuse for such a slow response to a tragedy of this magnitude. President Bush did not disclose what penalties, if any, he would enforce on the Exxon oil company, but many speculate it would be nothing more than a slap on the wrist. When Vice President Quayle was asked what was his opinion of the penalties for the oil spill, he responded, what oil spill? Well, that does it for the Adams-Roth Report for tonight. Join us tomorrow night. Thank you.